Richard J. Short So my first eight hours community service yesterday involved painting locks and educating the team about the world all day. A few moments later. Carlo Woodrow McMillan. I thought you got off with all charges too. Richard J. Short. Carol Woodrow McMillan. Got off with a two years suspended sentence. <laughs> oh dear. 120 hours community service. How sad. 600 pounds plus court fines. Never mind. <laughs> Richard J. Short, it might come as a surprise that getting a two year suspended sentence, 120 hours community service, and 600 pounds plus court costs is not getting off. You might not have got a prison sentence, it don't mean that you got off. You have still been sentenced. Community sentences overview. You may get a community sentence if you are convicted of a crime by a court but are not sent to prison. You may have to do unpaid work in your local community, like removing graffiti. This is called community payback. Community sentences can be given for crimes such as Damaging property Theft Assault You may get a community sentence if The court thinks you are more likely to stop committing crime than if you go to prison. It's the first time you have committed a crime. You have a mental health condition that affects your behavior. How we doing everyone? Just currently sat in my car waiting for the police. So, a lot of you know the, um, well you know what happened a few months back with, I think it was in June when um, me and my friend went down to Cornwall and was arrested down there by the G7 summit. Um, I have seen a few stories since then about it where people are saying how can anyone on earth get caught down by presidential people, um, the MPs, the Queen, like myself, how could I get caught down there, thrown into a cell all day and then released without being charged? Well to any of them muppets that did say that originally about me, that's no problem. I've been keeping everyone updated um, and what happened was when I was down there, as most people know, I went down there to go and be a part of the protest at the G7 summit, which was cool, that's what my idea was. Yes, I took throwing axes and knives and stuff with me. The intention was we were camping for the night. Some people don't like to add that together and say that doesn't make sense, well whatever. I like camping, I've always been a man that throws axes, I like axe throwing. Um, I'm good with my knives and there's videos of me and my son before G7 where I'm taking them out to the woods, teaching them how to use knives and axes and things like that, so whatever. My other story was anyway, yes we was arrested at G7, I was put in the cells all day, I was given an interview, they made it very clear to me, due to the seriousness of what I've been arrested for, I won't be going home and I'll be put straight into remand. But in the interview, I can speak about everything I'm there for and see what happens from there. Well, I, usually I try and ignore interviews because if they've got any evidence against me of anything at all, then they don't need my interview. I'm not going to sit there and give myself away. But anyway, I had to do the interview on that day because I realised that I'm in big, big trouble. I'm sat in the middle of a fucking place in Cornwall where they're not going to let me go home. They're going to put me in remand because they feel that I've come down there to start throwing axes at bloody people. So anyway, I did my interview and I told them very clearly that is not the case. I like axe throwing. They can check that out by looking at my videos on my phones and stuff. Um, and I'm not that stupid, but yes. Oh, shut up, you cunt.